What's up guys, Igor Hernandez here, let's talk trial. Today I want to talk about uh, direct examination preparation and particularly making sure that you know what the witness is going to say on direct examination before you ask questions. Direct examination is not an area, not a, not a place for experimenting. On light cross examination, for direct examination you usually should know what the person is going to say because you're calling them to the stand which means you have some indication as to what he's going to testify to and also a lot of times you have the opportunity to speak to them ahead of time usually they're friendly usually they are cooperative with your side of the case so you can speak to them so there should be no excuse why you should not be able to know what the witness would say on direct examination if asked certain questions um, for example I had a trial not too long ago in federal court where one of the issues was whether some people who were in custody who were inmates whether they were lying about certain facts and on direct examination the other side is asking questions of a senior inspector some some main witness for them that you know carries a lot of credibility for their side and the witness testified about all kinds of training that he's done and his background and this and that and one of the things he says is that he does classes or, or teaches classes uh, for something called inmate manipulation. Now when he said it, we had no idea really what, what that would mean because he's not our witness, we did not have an opportunity to speak to him and all of that. Uh, but the person, the, the counsel asking the question for the other side should have known. Uh, and so the counsel asks, can you tell us what does witness manipulation mean? And so the guy proceeds to testify that basically inmates they really know how to lie they make up a lot of things they have all day to scheme and manipulate and so they need to teach a class to teach officers how to spot and how to basically understand and deal with the fact that inmates are going to manipulate them to do things all the time but basically inmates are master manipulators right which obviously was something terrible for their side of the case because they were trying to say that the inmates were telling the truth and it was something completely brought out by their side we didn't ask it we had no idea it was coming and clearly they had no idea it was coming but it was one of those things that reminded me and one of the reasons i'm doing this video because it reminded me of how important it is to know what your witness is going to say on direct examination before you ask a question and i think in an examination like that if you don't know what inmate manipulation means in a case like that and you haven't asked the guy before you probably should not find out on direct examination so he says inmate manipulation i would probably ask the next question and leave it there just because i don't know what i don't know what he'd say next right so anyway guys that's it for now if you like the video go ahead and like the video uh, hit that notification bell hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you again next wednesday